Home Great Falls City Commissioners met to vote on the proposed budget for the 2020 fiscal year. MTN's Asher Lind was at the Civic Center for the meeting. The Great Falls City Commission voted unanimously in favor of the 2022 fiscal year proposed budget. These are only estimations, but as of June 15th of this year, the city has projected total revenue at just over $135 million, while total expenditures are around $120 million. Part of the budget includes the COVID Recovery Fund, which provided over $15 million and is designed to help the city's economy recover from the effects of the pandemic. Mayor Bob Kelly says the city has until 2026 to spend those funds. Mayor Kelly says there weren't any big surprises in the budget this year and said a big part of the budget was not raising property tax this year. This year we're not doing that again. So that's an additional six or seven hundred thousand dollars of taxes we're not laying out to the public this year. So no increases in property taxes, assessment taxes, and hopefully we're going to keep our utility rates at the same rate as well. So the budget itself is going to look very much like it did last year. City Manager Greg Doyen added that he anticipates raises coming next year since it would be a challenge to not raise them three budget cycles in a row. We're not going to be able to do that next year. I think that that's kind of important to understand. And the reason is that we went into COVID in a strong financial position and we were able to absorb the loss of revenue with fund balance. Um, that's money that is set aside for special circumstances. COVID was a special circumstance and we were able to roll with that for two budget cycles, but the third budget cycle, we're gonna to need to make adjustments like we had been in the past. Doyen added that along with COVID, public safety will be a top priority and will be reflected in the budget next year. In Gray Falls, Asher Lind, MTN News.